<laughs> so I heard from your mom that you were doing a Subaru swap in your Volkswagen bus. Uh, and you wanted to know more about the shortened oil pan. Well, I've got some answers for you. I have the stock Subaru oil pan right here, and I have a shortened oil pan. I've had this motor for about five years, so I forgot how, it's been so long, I can't even remember. So let's take some measurements, because I want to do, I don't want to have to change my oil pan every time I swap engines. So I'm going to cut this one down. Let's take some measurements. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. We have the stock oil pan out of my 2002 WRX turbo motor and I have the shortened oil pan that I've been running for the last five years which actually goes to this motor here which is uh, an STI motor turbo motor okay so let's take some measurements on stock so let's measure the front right where the oil plug is basically at the highest point it's like six inches so this is six inches and a shortened one, it's easier to measure like this. So the shortened one to the very lowest point is four and a, oops, right, right there, four and a quarter. So four and a quarter on the short side. Now on the high side, oops, we can measure right to the middle. The high side is six, six and an eighth, and the high side on this one, our short one, is five and a half. So, so this one's cut at an angle, as you can see, and basically this one is, is pretty much flat. It's like an an eighth of an inch, right? So it's pretty much flat. But this one's at an, this one's cut at an angle. Now let's, so those are, and I like the height of this one, so it's not that much difference. So now let's look at the oil pickup tubes, the stock versus the modified here. You can see they're just about a half inch. Let's take a measurement so on this one. On the stock, Right to the flange is five and a half to the top. So five and a half to the top. And you know the bolt hole is seven inches. Well, it's six and seven eighths long. <laughs> Almost seven inches. And the modified one, and actually you can see that this one is, is actually level. So I don't know if I did this one at an angle for, for some reason, but it's not. This one is at the high side, it's five and a quarter, and it's at an angle uh, five inches on the other side. I don't know if I did that on purpose or an accident. <laughs> and you can see where it has been cut. It was cut right here, low. And then welded and then brazed right there. It actually has a different mounting bracket, not, but you could still do this if you wanted to. Okay, so let's look at the, uh, the inside of the pan just to see what it looks like. And you can see that there's all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> so here's the stock and the shortened. You can see that it has a superstructure here and it also has a lower one in here. And you can see that there's a pretty good space right there. Now on the shortened one, you can see that the second rib, that's where the pan is cut. So that's, that you can cut the pan right at that level versus and that and then you still have the structure and the strength of the sides so that's that's where you want to cut it also notice on the shortened oil pan that in the bottom front corner is a triangular weld piece put in so it's it's actually a longer bottom so you don't lose any oil capacity actually this still holds four quarts so make note of that. So, so once again, stock oil pan, shortened oil pan, 
six inches, four and a quarter, six and an eighth, five and a half, five and a half, four and seven eighths long, six and seven eighths, five and an eighth long. So just a quick short video about shortened oil pans before I put the oil pan on this motor because this is ready to go in. This is my road trip motor. I'm getting ready for summer vacation. So uh, this is going in the bus right now. Just wanted to get this video made before I put the engine back in the car tomorrow. This is actually uh, what I just pulled out. This is my WRX motor. So I have the oil pan off of it because I have to swap. I think I did pretty good on the uh, piston and connecting rod balancing. It's not really vibrating very well. <laughs> Let's go.